Liu Cheng Zhu studied magic under Master Yin Wen, who told him nothing for three years. Lao Cheng Zhu asked what he had done wrong and offered to leave. Master Yin Wen bowed him into the house, shut the door on his attendants, and talked with him. Formerly, as Lao Tzu was setting out for the West, he looked back and told me, The breath of all that lives, the appearance of all that has shape, is illusion. What is begun by the creative process and changed by the yin and yang is said to be born and to die. Things which already shaped are displaced and replaced by comprehensions of numbers and understanding of change are said to be transformed, to be illusions of magic. The skill of the creator is inscrutable, his achievement profound, so that it's, it is long before his work completes its term and comes to an end. The skill of the magician working on the shape of things is obvious, but his achievement shallow, so that his work is extinguished as soon as it is conjured up. It is when you realize that the illusions and transformations of magic are no different from birth and death that it becomes worthwhile to study magic with you. You and I are also an illusion. What is there to study? Lao Cheng Zhu went home to practice Master Yin Wen's teaching and after pondering deeply for three months was able to disappear and appear at will and turn round and exchange the four seasons. Call up thunder in winter, create ice in summer, make flying things run and running things fly. He never disclosed his arts all his life so that no one handed them down to later generations. Lietu said, as for those sages who had the art of running an empire, their way was employed in secret. Their outward achievements were no different from other men. The power of the five emperors, the achievements of the three kings, were not necessarily all due to the force of their wisdom and courage. Some they accomplished through their transforming influence. Who has fathered them?